There are a lot of big names in this space, some of which that like to go unheard of or unseen. It's pretty common in this space. It's the ethos of crypto. But it's almost impossible to have a conversation without mentioning the likes of Consensus. Consensus is the same group behind MetaMask, Truffle, and Infura, and now the Layer 2 blockchain Linea. Linea is a fully EVM equivalent zero knowledge rollup designed to scale Ethereum with higher throughput and lower transaction fees. Linea relies on an innovative internally built lattice powered prover which utilizes ZK Snark technology and enables proofs to be generated quickly and does not require a trusted setup. This has long been a flaw of the ZK Snark technology. Linea aims to fix this problem. Linea is also designed to be developer-friendly, composable, and approachable, meaning that developers do not need to be ZK EVM or ZK rollup experts to build on it. As a fully EVM equivalent ZK EVM chain, this makes Linea a type 2 ZK EVM according to Ethereum's founder, Vitalik Buterin's classification of ZK EVM chains. This means that the chain will look and feel much like Ethereum and will support almost all of the existing Ethereum dApps. The core differences only affect the interactions with the L1 such as state tree and block structure rather than the application layer itself. A fully EVM equivalent ZK EVM also means that developers and protocols can migrate any code from Ethereum L1 to Linea without modifying our additional audits. Similarly, if developers want to build a product for Linea, but then they find it more suitable for Ethereum or any other EVM chain, they can easily redeploy their code elsewhere and vice versa. This is huge to be able to move freely. I think this is a good step in the right direction, right? Especially for the ZK EVMs. Guys, with all of this, Linea has everything that any developer, any user, any dApp could ever want, right? Ah, not so fast. There is one thing that they do not have. Guys, this is Airdrop Alpha. You already know what it is. They don't have a token. Today, I'm going to show you step-by-step step what you can do and what interactions you need to take to position yourself to get the Linea Airdrop when it happens. So, without wasting any more time, guys, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Hey, what is up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Remora. This is Airdrop Alpha. My name is Wes, and today we're going to be talking about Linea, guys. Linea, in my opinion, is going to be one of the biggest airdrops of 2024. I'm going to put it up there with Layer Zero and ZK Sync, okay? Guys, if this is your first time checking us out, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Go ahead, hit the like button, share all that good stuff. Without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get started, guys. We need to go to the official Linea page. Uh, this is going to be at Linea Build. So go here to the page. Make sure you're following them. Make sure you turn on notifications. That way you can stay up to date on any ecosystem announcements. You can stay up to date on any events that are coming up. Right now, they do have the Linea Park that is taking place. So I'm going to show you guys how to get to that and what to do on there here in a second. But uh, yeah, definitely make sure you're following them here. Turn on notifications and uh, also follow them on Discord, right? Discord, there is a, uh, a lot of early alpha in the Discord servers. You can get in there. You can start talking with, you know, project founders that are building on Linea as well. You can talk to different community members. Sometimes those community members become founders. So get in there and start talking with people, making friends and, and all that, man. I highly recommend you doing that. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this tab right here, Linea Build. From this page, you're going to be able to DYOR. If you've heard that terminology before, that's what that stands for on any project. Even if we're talking about it, it's always good to do your own research. And that way you're confident when you're using the, you know, the D app or the platform or whatever you're using. That way you're confident about it. If uh, you want to share it to somebody else, you have your facts straight and you can teach other people as well when, uh, when the time comes for you to be able to do that. Uh, on this, you're going to be able to look at any documents. Uh, you can read the white paper. You can, you know, find out any backers that they have. 
any uh, big names. Consensus is already a, a giant in the crypto space, very well respected. So that alone was enough to kind of spark my attention to Linea. And uh, yeah, you can find this down here. It'll show you the different use cases, the roadmap, learn more about consensus, scrolling up. You can see the numbers, 3.7 million active users, addresses, 323,000 proofs verified on Ethereum. $382 million in gas fees have been saved so far. And that's that that number is going to spike too with the Dan Kuhn upgrade, which so far has been a, a pretty good success. So I am excited about the, the upgrade, especially with the L2s. It's only going to make them faster and cheaper. They have almost 300 D apps on Linea right now. And that number is growing by leaps and bounds. I mean, they have so many and, and the technology that they're using allows it to be easier for other projects to seamlessly integrate into Linea or uh, allow Linea to be, you know, uh, integrated to their D app as well. So that's where you're going to find all that to get to the discord, just hover over the community. You can get to their Twitter here. You can get to their discord and uh, I'm not sure what this is right here, but um, you can get to whatever that is from here as well. Uh, we're going to use the ecosystems tab. We're going to go to the application tab and that's where we're going to have our fun. But yeah, you can do uh, documentation here, the block explorer, we can see different transactions. Uh, and then this is where you're going to see, you know, what is Linea, any of the docs and all that stuff. So go to the ecosystems tab and then click on applications. And that's going to bring up this beautiful page here. And again, guys, they have almost 300 D apps. This one's pretty intriguing. Alien swap. Like that's just one that I want to click on. All right. But yo, just to clear it up, any D app on this page, if it's listed on this page, Linea has deemed these D apps safe, official, and legit. Okay. When you go on the uh, ecosystems tab and you and you see all these in front of you. Go ahead and have fun, man. Just click on them. You don't have to connect your wallet to the the site just because you click on it. Just click on it. Go see what it is. Start learning about the ecosystem. Uh, I've handpicked a few of them today because I know it's kind of overwhelming. And uh, I went through the different uh, use cases for them as well. So we're not just going to be doing the same thing over and over. You know what I mean? Like, we're not going to just do 20 swaps back and forth from ETH to USDC. I was trying to mix it up to make it a little bit more fun. This is step one, and I think this is pretty important. Go to MetaMask, go to portfolio.metamask.io. And this one right here, guys, this is for you MetaMask farmers that have been farming Meta, the MetaMask wallet for the last couple of years. I do think Linea uses this as a multiplier for the criteria of the airdrop. So it, it'll kind of, you know, calm the uh, the MetaMask farmers down a little bit. And all you're going to do is go to, you know, portfolio.metamask.io forward slash bridge, connect your wallet here in the top right. And then you're going to click uh, from the Ethereum network to the Linea network. All right. Just put in the amount that you want to swap over. And uh, it'll show you how much you're going to receive. And the fee right now for bridging is $14, which really isn't that bad, honestly. Um, a couple of weeks ago, it was like 60 something, 70 something dollars. So this is a huge difference. And uh, yeah, man, I, I think that's great. Guys, if you can't afford the $14, trust me, I get it. You know, times are hard right now. If you can't afford the $14, then I, I still recommend doing from L2 to L2. And when I say that, I mean bridge from Polygon to Linea or Arbitrum to Linea, bridge from Avalanche to Linea, Optimism Base, doesn't matter. Just make sure you're using this MetaMask bridge because, again, I think it's going to be a multiplier. All right, so let's uh, move on to the next one. Guys, if you've been following the Crypto Remora, if you've been watching any of these other airdrop videos, then you know how much I love RhinoFi. I, I really think you could probably do any and everything, all criteria, just from RhinoFi. Uh, and it's, it's almost built for airdrop farming, honestly. First thing we're going to do is go to the Mint NFTs tab right here. And uh, obviously connect your wallet. Make sure you're on the Linea network. 
And as you can see, this right here, as long as you have 0.002 ETH on the Linea network in your MetaMask wallet, or whichever wallet you're using, I'm just saying MetaMask because it's the more popular one. As long as you have that amount of ETH on Linea in your MetaMask wallet, this is a repeatable uh, action right here. You can do this as many times as you want. And the cool thing about it is, it keeps up with your transactions, it keeps up with your volume, your balance, and then where you sit as far as uh, your rank among other users. And then when you get into the top, when, when you're above 70%, so this right here means, it says 72%, so I'm in the top 30% of users, all right? If you read that right there, when you get in the top 30% of users, you can mint an exclusive RhinoFi Linea NFT, right? So definitely try to work to get to that spot to where, and look, I'm only tra 20 transactions in on this wallet. So it's really not that hard to get to only 0 0.03 uh, in ETH volume. So it's really not that much. I uh, highly recommend you doing that. So that is going to be pretty important. And after you mint these a few times, go to the bridge tab as well. Look, Rhino Fi doesn't have a token either and they're you know they're doing their own little quest and you're building xp points with them so to me that that tells me that eventually they're gonna you know release their token as well so this could be a bonus airdrop too so i definitely wouldn't fade that but from the bridge just do from layer two to layer two so you're not you know spending the a crap ton of money on bridging fees Right, but you're still building up your volume. So bridge from scroll to linea, linea back to scroll, and then um, you know, do arbitrum to linea, linea back to arbitrum, optimism, and just build your transact or your uh brit not bridge, just build your network exposure, you know, from linea. So you're interacting with different networks and bridging back and forth from other networks instead of just like ETH to linea, linea to ETH, ETH to linea, linea. All right, you get what I'm saying? So definitely do that. And then they have a tracker here. Just put your address in right there. It should just put it in there for you if, if you have your wallet connected. And then you can check your, you know, where your score is uh, along, you know, with any of these networks. So ZK Sync, we just did that one. Go check that video out if you missed it. That was a good one. And then we're doing Linea today. So you can uh, check your score there. They support a ton of chains. I mean, look at this down here, right? So have fun with that. Just, uh, you know, try try to just do it naturally, man. Don't even make it a thing. Try to explore. Explore Linea. Don't don't just farm it, right? <laughs> so uh, this is this is the, the fun one right here. This is one that I just found out myself. This right here, this is for all you artists and collectors. And uh, maybe you have a friend that has an, an, a collection, a digital collection that you want to put it on the blockchain for. You want to mint it as an NFT. All you're going to do is go here. That's getmint.io. Connect your wallet, obviously. Make sure you're on the Linea mainnet. And for each mint, they're giving you 20 XP points, which equals to, you know, points towards an airdrop in my eyes, right? So I do think that maybe that converts over to an airdrop. So this could be another bonus airdrop from another Linea D app, okay? And all you're going to do here, click on the mints tab. And then right here, you see in the middle, it says click to upload. Just click there. Click on the picture you want to upload. Right? Give it a name right here. I've already minted this one, and I'm going to show you what I, you know, what we do next. But give it a name, and then give it a description if you want, okay? And then all you're going to do is click mint, and then just confirm it in your wallet. And there you have it, man. Just you minted it on the blockchain. So now you have your... Uh, very own NFT on the blockchain, okay? After you mint the NFT on the blockchain, go to Bridge NFT here. See, I've already done it. So I have that NFT sitting here. So click on the one you want to bridge, right? And then it's saying that you're bridging from the Linea network and you can choose whichever one you want to bridge it to, okay? So there's ZK Sync. You can do a ZK Sync transaction, uh, there's Nova. Nova is really cheap. There's Base right here, Mantle, Polygon, ZKEVM. You can do any of these. So, and all you're going to do is just click send and then confirm it in your wallet. All right. 
Moving on, this is one that I just found out as well. This one is Horizon Dex, and this is where you're going to be providing liquidity on the network, which was an Arbitrum criteria for the ARB airdrop is providing liquidity. So uh, that's what we're going to do here. And the only thing that I highly suggest you do is only put, only add liquidity to one that has a high TVL, right? So the ones like, where is it at? I know I saw it in here earlier. $3.87. That's a rug. You put any money in this pool right here, the, the, the creator is just going to pull the liquidity out and take your money. So don't, add money to any of these you know fifty nine dollars three dollars right here make sure it's got a high tvl and when i say high tvl i mean like close to a hundred thousand like that has 70.82 thousand and they're giving you 26 percent apr return on it so add liquidity to that uh let's do passive let's see what it does okay so all you're gonna do is uh you'll you'll have the token you want to swap right here in the swapper you'll swap from your eth to the hzn tab you don't have to wrap it it'll wrap it for you uh, so switch from eth a swap over from eth to hzn token and then after you do that then you're going to go to the pools and then just hit add liquidity and you're going to put max hzn token it'll go ahead and um add the other half of the eth there for you and then you'll just add the liquidity to it okay and uh, after that, the farms are new. I'm, I don't think they're open yet, but after you add the liquidity to it, that's when you'll go to the farm and then put your LP token into the farm. If you, if you don't know how to do that and you've never done yield farming or anything, we have a video on it. Go back and check in our how-to section. We have a video on it that we did with the Radium uh, D app, and we did it on the Solana network. So go check that one out. I think that was a pretty thorough walkthrough. So uh, yeah, definitely look at that. And then last thing here is the Linea Park. This still has a little bit of time left. So if you can get to it as soon as, soon as possible. Uh, and it's pretty much just like basic onboarding right here. You're just gonna read through, you know, a little paragraph and then it'll ask you a question and uh, just answer the question right. And you'll get, L you'll get LXP points, Linea XP points for each um one that you get right each quest that you that you complete all right so there's the onboarding one then there's the rpg and mmo you're just going to play a couple of games learn about these different games some of them look really really cool i still need to go on here and finish mine uh, for this wallet and then they had the nft thing that'll that'll open up after you do the uh, rpg and the mmo they have the referral zone that you can refer different people to different wallets to then they have their social right here and, and you're just going on here and playing around with d apps uh, making transactions you get to mint different nfts for doing these things and it just shows that you're a an active user on the linea network and i think you get a lot of uh xp or not xp points i think you get a lot of multiplier points for doing this i think this is a really big criteria for them so yeah i, I would definitely do that as well all right, and last thing here, guys, I was going to try to go over this Gitcoin passport. Yep, okay. So everybody, there's been some rumors that Linea and ZK Sync are going to be using the proof of humanity. So guys, I just wanted to throw this at the end of the video. You can do it if you want to. Maybe it's not necessary. I know Arbitrum did it as well, but it wasn't mandatory. Like if you didn't do it, you still got the airdrop. I think this is the direction that Linea and ZK Sync are gonna go. So I think completing the proof of humanity will get you a bigger airdrop, but I don't think it's gonna be 100% necessary. It's it's all speculative, right? We don't know for sure. And uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. I don't like it. If you're comfortable with doing some of these things, I mean, really all you're doing is like connecting your Twitter account, you're connecting your Google account, it's like doxing yourself pretty much if you want to get you know to the the 20 points that uh is considered the threshold uh but i think it could be well worth it if you're comfortable with doing it then i say do it but if not skip it you know what i mean it's it's totally up to you and uh, i'm gonna leave it in your hands if you want to do it do it if not 
uh, don't do it. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope that this has uh, brought some value and I hope that you've, um, I've answered some questions. I think that those are the best, the easiest D apps with the different use cases. So you're not just doing the same thing over and over and making it boring. So, uh, those are the ones that I thought were, would be the best and you can get the most transactions out of for the cheapest, um, for the lowest amount of money, I should say. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If there are any other videos that you guys want to see, any other projects or um, airdrops that you want me to go over, just put it in the description and we will definitely go over it. I appreciate you guys for being here. We've been getting a lot of love, man. We got, you know, 490 subs so far. We've been getting a lot of likes on these videos. So we're going to keep we're going to keep it up. And um, we got a lot of cool stuff coming up, man. We're going to be doing some some public appearances and talking with people in the streets about crypto and a lot of cool stuff guys we got a lot of cool stuff and our early subscribers man we uh we got a big surprise for you guys too man we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff for for y'all so uh turn on notifications make sure you're following us if you're not uh, at the crypto remora on all socials make sure you're following siri at siri crypto and myself at crypto macgyver that's gonna do it for today's show guys much love to you guys good luck with the farming and until next time peace out